Hey Virgo, I hope you're doing well. Um, this is going to be a general reading for what you need to know right now. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. Uh, I do have personals open. I have three different options. Details are down below. Of course, only if you're interested. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on in here, Virgo, and see what we get for you. Wow. Can't even sugarcoat it, Virgo. Like, there's a really bad situation here, all right? I feel like you already know what this is, like something draining you financially or something just really draining the desire to commit, you know, to stay committed to, um, you know, like, like you don't feel as determined to work on something anymore as how this is feeling. You're feeling very drained. Um, you're feeling very drained, and you put a lot of effort in already. It's a, it's a terrible situa situation. It really is with the uh, Five of Cups energy. This is disappointment. It's grief. It's feeling like you lost time or feeling like you, you, you put in a lot of effort, basically, and you didn't get a return on it with the Queen of Pentacles energy. You're trying to salvage it, but Nine of Wands, you're not sure you have the energy to do that either because this... Um, you know, the bandage on his head here. This can talk about wounded warriors, somebody who just feels like they're too hurt to keep going. You don't have anything left to give is how this is feeling to me. Um, could have involved a Capricorn for some of you. It doesn't have to, though. Let's see what's going on here. Why is this coming through for what Virgo needs to know? Seven of Wands. Five of Swords. Six of Cups. This has got to be put in the past. Uh, okay, I'm seeing you manifest something new. Like something is trying to pour in here, but this is something that you're keeping the door open on. If you, for example, if this is like a person that, you know, has this petty back and forth energy with the Six of Cups, like I'm going to give you a little bit, then, I, then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to move in and out. Basically that kind of energy here. Um, the things you want are there. They're available to you. However, the store being open, it's blocking them. The seven of wands, you're needing to block out an energy here. So like if you have a person on social media and they're able to keep looking back at you, they're able to weasel their way on in and make offers when it, whenever they see you moving on. That's something, Virgo, that you're going to have to put in the past because guess what's coming now? Your manifestations, okay? The things that you have waited on, the things that you have poured into, the sun is showing up right behind this. This is literally the happiest card in the deck, okay? Happiness, high vibrations, joy, you know, better energy all around. It's possible, you know, that you've just been feeling drained entirely and dealing with this situation, but once you put it behind you, like other things in your life start to really fall in place. You have the chariot here as well. Some of you, there could be a move or a new vehicle. I mean, you have judgment showing up a situation you've been stuck on i feel like you start to move forward from okay areas of your life that have been stuck once you cut this energy out once you set those boundaries put those blockages in place um you know don't allow this person back in i feel like that's when things are really going to speed up for you that's when things are going to start moving okay that's what i'm seeing here for you virgo um i do hope it was helpful details are in the description box below for anyone who might be interested in a personal but if this is where we part thank you for watching this far i really appreciate you and hopefully i will see you next time virgo Bye.